Good afternoon. I am so happy to be here with Senator Pia from the Philippines. I'd like you to maybe introduce yourself and the issues that you've prioritized as a senator in your country. Okay, um, I'm Pia Cayetana. I'm a senator from the Philippines. And uh, we recently passed the reproductive health law. It is a measure that I had been working on for uh, very actively for the last three years, but it has been pending in Congress for 14 years. So that has been a major landmark for the Filipinos, actually. Well, that's incredible. Can you give me maybe some of the background and the reason that you've really prioritized this and what this bill will do for the women in the Philippines? Yeah. Well, it was really something that I thought, you know, the time had come. Um, there are 100 million Filipinos, and um, a lot of them still live under poverty. And no matter what you do, no matter, our, our current president is doing such a good job, but no matter what you say, if a mother has 12 kids, you know, I, I well, the argument I give, because there's a very strong opposition, basically it's, it's the church, it's the Catholic Church. Okay. And for those who say, like, don't interfere with the number of kids a, a family wants to have, and first of all, this law does not interfere, they can still choose. But I'm like, well, if, you know, even if I, if I gave you a middle class family, what middle class family can feed 12 kids? Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, is really, you know, um, I want to ensure that families and women had choices, had access to family planning, information. A lot have no idea, they don't know that they even have the right to plan their family family oh. and um, it's personal to me because I'm a woman mm -hmm. um, I lost a child and many women lose a child be of, because of pre for preventable reasons our, our Millennium Development Goals on maternal mortality mm -hmm. are far from being met yes and this moves me in a very personal way because a lot of women who were fighting for this who were in the halls of Congress daily are women who who have experienced either a loss or are working on the grassroots with other women so it's personal to so many people and yeah, we're happy that after all these years it passed. Well, congratulations. And as I was telling you, I'm here. We just launched a new website called Plus Social Good, and it's really focused on social media as a tool for social good. And you explain that you're very active on social media. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and how you use it in the country? Yeah, um, actually in my presentation here in Women Deliver, I uh, had actually a separate, um, a few pages where I, I showed pictures of actual tweets and mm -hmm. um, my blog because I used it really as a tool to reach um, more people. Of course, there's traditional media. We all know how that works. But there's a growing um, base of people who, who really either, you know, rely on, on social media alone. I actually read all my news on Twitter now. Wow. I mean, I, of course, I have newspapers, but <laughs> I'm able to catch up better on Twitter, you know, and then I, I just click the link on articles I want to read. So what happened was I would use that to start explaining all the misconceptions and the, the actual lies that were being spread about reproductive health. Wow. And I use that to engage people. And I did. It's not always pleasant. Um, People have called me names on, on, on Twitter, but you know I, I decided to, to be a little bit more thick-skinned and, and to, be, to try to rise above it, if, if only to educate more people. And then even on my blog, like I would, I, 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 I did, we put together my, my, um, my team put, gave me the, the material and then I wrote about 10 reasons you know, t facts about reproductive health. And, and so every time, like every day, 10 people would ask me, I'm like, just go to my blog, just go to my blog. So yeah, it's all there and um, it's, it's worked very well for me. And I, I do encourage more politicians, more policymakers to be there because I've, I've received such interesting feedback, not just on reproductive health, but on mm -hmm. all other issues, like issues I'm not even aware of. And then, you know, I, I we keep tabs of it and sometimes we get really like invo end up getting involved in new things because of what I learn on social media. Wow, I, that's a really amazing story and I think one that not only people in the Philippines but worldwide oh, yeah. politicians could learn from. Yeah. Can I ask you what is your Twitter handle oh, yeah. and also where can we read your blog? I'd love to, oh, to yeah. look at it. Of course, um, it's Pia Cayetano which mm -hmm. is my name so easy to remember that's sure. me on Twitter and also on Facebook you can look mm -hmm. me up um, with my name and then my blog is easier mydailyrace.com because it's my life as a senator, a mom and a triathlete. Oh, wow. Well yeah. congratulations for all of your work and thank you so much for your time.